Good evening everyone, this is Henry Gamble with SimplerOptions.com and in tonight's free video I wanted to share a couple of concepts with you around implied volatility and trading that around earnings. So um, the entire concept with earnings trades are, are you going to play it into the report, for the report, or after the report? And with MU, we're looking at the idea that, you know, pretty much every quarter that they've reported has resulted in a positive outlook. You've actually had some pretty solid gap ups on their reports. So I have to look at this and say, okay, company knows what they're doing. This continues to progress very well. And I think playing it to the long side is the way to go. Of course, you know, when you're in these situations, you think, what's the best way to take advantage of that high implied volatility? And it is not buying a call. You know, you may look to past reports and think this has done so well, it will do well again. It even had a daily squeeze to back it. And, you know, now that the report is out, they have done well off of their report. However, when you come back and look at the underlying, it's trading, you know, basically unchanged, uh, maybe down a few cents. A lot of this will depend on where it opens, but it helps drive home the idea of the fact that we are just trying to sell that juiced up premium, selling you know, essentially extrinsic value to everybody that thinks that this is going to have another big move. So even though it's done well in the past, and even though we were looking for it to do well again, the short puts will end up paying out a lot better tomorrow than long calls would have, and that should be a good position to be in. We initiated that there towards the end of the day, and it should be fairly easy to manage tomorrow. Okay, so that's the report that's over with, and now we want to think because I always like to try too in these, you know, to give you something to show you what we've been doing and then to show some ideas that you can use going forward. And the next one is going to be Netflix. So for MU, we played it around the report. And of course, the report's out. We should be able to take profits on that tomorrow. When you come in and take a look at Netflix, I think this is a really interesting place to talk about the idea for a play into earnings. Because when you look at the chart, I have a very hard time or <laughs> I essentially would just tell you that there is no real trend here. Now, if you step back far enough, you know, if you're looking at a weekly chart, of course, the trend is bullish. But when you come back and look at the daily chart, that's not quite as clear. It's a little bit more mixed. And ultimately, I would tell you that it's a little bit more of a range bound ticker, you know, about in this range. Okay, so we look at the idea that earnings are due out on the 17th of July. And the way that you want to play this into earnings is a little different than you want to play it around the report. If we expand the implied volatility for Netflix, you can see that the idea is taking the implied volatility where we're currently trading and trying to get it, you know, the last one was about where we were. There were a couple of reports, so the IV got a little bit higher. But the best way to play this into the report is obviously the complete opposite of that. So where we were trying to sell the premium in MU, we want to come over into Netflix, make sure you're participating in the right series where we are focused on this July with 22 days until expiration. And the strategy I'm going to be looking at here has a little bit more of an upside bias, but it's basically coming in and buying the Delta 60 call and buying the Delta 40 put. And between the two, you know, this will be a little bit of an expensive trade, but the whole concept is that the implied volatility increases into that report and it helps compensate for the decay from theta. So same concept here. Do I know if this is going to be a winner? Of course not. But if we can see that the implied volatility climbs up into an area like this or like this, that's one of the best ways to catch that IV increase. And that's something that I'll be looking at actively during Friday's session. I hope that helps. You guys have a great night, and we'll see you at the next free video.